Hello nerds and nerdettes, welcome to Nerd Cam Games. My name is Brian, and today we'll be completing the Gertrude's Cat Quest in Old School Runescape. To start the quest, you're going to head east of Varrock to Gertrude's house. I'll show it here on the map. For this quest, you will need 100 GP, a raw sardine, which you can get by purchasing it from the fish market in Port Serum, a bucket of milk, which you can get by taking a bucket to one of the cows in the Lumbridge farm, and some Varrock teleport tabs, which will just make transportation a little bit easier. They're not required, but once again, they will allow you to get from the lumber yard at one end of Varrock to Gertrude's house on the other end of Varrock. To begin the quest, you're going to want to talk to the crazy old woman Gertrude, who's basically going to tell you that her kids are driving her insane and she's lost her poor cat, Fluffs. Now, before you do anything, make sure you run behind Gertrude's house and pick up a Dogal Leaves. These will be very important for the rest of the quest. Next, you're going to head to the center of Varrock and talk to either of the two boys, which are located right near the first stall. Basically, you're going to talk to them, explain to them um, that you're looking for the cat, and they will give you information if you pay them 100 GP. The two boys will say they last saw their cat near the Varrock Lumberyard, which is being shown on the map, so you're just going to need to head to that location. Once you're at the lumberyard, we're going to hop over the broken fence and head to this small building up here where you'll find a ladder, and then you're going to cli climb up the ladder to find the cat. Once you find Gertrude's cat, attempt to pick her up and she'll hiss at you. Then use your bucket of milk on her to make her a little bit happier. Try to pick her up again and she's still going to hiss at you. So you're going to want to use a raw sardine on her. The cat will refuse to take the sardine, so what you want to do is use the raw sardine on the dogo leaves to get a seasoned sardine. Then you're going to use the seasoned sardine on the cat, and the cat will eat the seasoned sardine. Next, you're going to want to head down the ladder, and now you're going to want to start searching through the crates until you find the kitten. Now, I have already completed the step, but basically you're going to head back up the ladder, use Fluff the Kitten, on Gertrude's cat. Make sure you right click and use the cat on Gertrude's cat. Otherwise, if you drop it, the cat will just run away and you'll have to find it again. So once you use the cat on Gertrude's cat, you can head to your quest box. Check Gertrude's cat and you'll notice that it says she ran off to home. This means you have completed it. If it does not say that, that means you dropped the cat and the cat has headed off and is now hiding in one of the boxes and you have to go find it again. Now you're going to want to head back to Gertrude's house, talk to her, she's going to thank you for saving her cat, she's going to give you a kitten, and you will have officially completed the quest. Once you're done talking to Gertrude, congratulations, you have completed Gertrude's cat. And for reward, you'll receive one chocolate cake, a bowl of stew, some cooking experience, and this cute little kitten. Now, unfortunately, you will not be able to choose the color of the kitten. It will be completely random. You can shoo away the kitten and then pay Gertrude 100 GP and she'll give you a new kitten, but the color is completely random. Unless you complete a couple of quests and get the Ring of Charos, then you'll be able to basically... Uh, mind manipulate her into giving you what color you want. The cat it will follow you around, but you will have to feed it. So most players will feed it tuna or fish, any type like that. Um, and if it follows you around for two and a half hours, the cat will grow into an actual adult cat, um, which basically means it's very good at catching mice. So you will need this cat for a the recipe for disaster quest. So make sure you do hold on to it. You're going to be turning into a hell cat. Uh, if the cat continues to follow you once it's an actual adult cat, eventually it would also turn into an overgrown cat, and then it can't catch any mice. Um, but you mainly only need the cat to catch mice for a couple of quests. So do hold on to your cat, it's definitely important, um, and it, it will be used later on down the road, but if you do lose it for some reason, you can just come talk to Gertrude, she'll give you 100 GP. This cat is sort of a precursor to the later summoning skill where you get more pets, but in old school RuneScape, this is one of the few pets you can actually have, other than the ones you get from killing high level bosses. So once you have the cat, you can pick it up, you can talk to it, you can interact with it, feed it, um, and you can make it chase mice if you're near mouse but that is going to do it for today's quest guide if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you have any comments suggestions things you want me to improve to the guides add to the guides maybe there's something you'd like me for include in the description uh, remember i make these quests for both regular players and iron man players that's why i describe all the items at the beginning and i also leave them in the description box but if you guys want more you actually want me to go and get all the items even if they're as very simple as a bucket of milk or a sardine um let me know because i will i will make footage and get that for you guys uh, but other than that uh thank you all for watching my name is brian have a super fantastic day get out there do your best and successful follow